Hello and welcome to this video in the lockdown learning series where we're going to take a look at installing some third party instruments and effects. So these are going to come from Native Instruments who are a, a, a certainly a large name in this kind of field. They've been around for a long time and they probably have one of the industry standard products in the shape of contact. But that's a paid product but fortunately they have a, a generous free bundle so this is on their home page and if we scroll down we get to complete start and that's what we're looking at today so i'll put a link to this in the description and this is effects synthesizers and sample playback in the shape of contact player so this is a whole load of stuff for free uh, there's no obligation so we're just going to have a look at this because say this is in the spirit of the of the series doing this so going to go to free download here and in the case of a mac we get a disk image in the case of windows you get a zip file where you have an installer but it's pretty much the same thing so i'm just going to go through this process on the mac so open this up but on windows you just have to open up the zip file and then run the installer to install it on a mac you drag the file into the applications folder potato potato so just going to drag this over into here and that's it, that'll be installed once that gets copied in. So now we're ready to run. So I'm gonna close Firefox and close that window. And now we're gonna run Native Access. Now, this is a very similar program to Steinberg's way of administering all their installers, etc. So in this case, you can create the account here, this always does this. It's very strange that when you install it, it says you need to update it. And once you've done, you can either log in if you have a native ID or you can create even a, create an account here. So I'm gonna create an account so you just go through the process. It's much more straightforward than the Steinberg way, that's for sure. So, so I'm gonna just put in my name, uh, my email address and choose a password. Set the conditions, create the account, and we're done. So we're in as easily as that. So it will take you to the link, view products not installed. I have no products to install, and that is because I need to add a serial number to register and install more products. Okay, so we're going to go back to Firefox. Go back to Native Instruments. Now we're going to log in with the details we just created. And we're logged in. So we can see we're logged in on the site. And now we need to go back to that page. Click free download again. And then say get complete start. So this time we're going to click that. Click the button again. Right, so now it should be in native access, but as it says here, it can take up to two hours for it to appear in native access because as you can imagine, they've got a significant amount of demand at this point. So if we go back to native access, click refresh. And so here we are a little later, it was only a few minutes, but here we are a little later with everything that we're entitled to. So you can see there's there's quite a bit. There's some certainly some significantly sized uh, downloads to do. I think it's six gigs in total, they say. So we're going to press install all. Now, the locations, generally the locations will be okay. I wouldn't mess with these if you're on a Mac. You might want to mess around with them, um, depending on whether you're on a PC, but I've just found that generally just leaving them on the defaults works fine. So... Let's just click confirm and then you will see, depending on your internet speed, uh, a, you'll have a fair old wait. So we're just going to fast forward through this process. And now you can see everything's installed. So that just went through that process, downloaded all of those. And we're in business. So that's the installation of that. So that's it for today's video. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at running through some of the sounds and how you can use these in Cubase. So thanks for watching. I hope you found that useful and I'll see you again soon.